inverse proportion. In the case of direct variation between two quantities, say x and y, we have learnt that increase in x is proportionate increase in y. Decrease in x is proportionate decrease in y. But two quantities x and y may also change in such a manner that if one quantity x increases, the other quantity y decreases proportionally and vice versa. For example, as the number of workers employed to undertake a job increases, time taken to complete the job decreases. Similarly, if we decrease the speed of a car, the time taken to cover a given distance increases. This kind of variation between two quantities is known as inverse variation. We say that x varies inversely with y and y varies inversely with x. Suppose we have 60 toffees and we wish to distribute these toffees equally among a certain number of children. If the number of children is 30, obviously each child will get 2 toffees. If there are 20 children, each child will get 3 toffees. Thus the number of children and the number of toffees each child gets vary inversely. Two quantities x and y are said to vary in inverse proportion if there exists a relation of the type x y equals to k between them, k being a positive constant number. If x1 and x2 are two values of x and y1 and y2 are the corresponding values of y, then x1 y1 is equals to x2 y2 equals to constant. Therefore, x1 upon x2 is equals to y1 upon y2. Some examples of quantities that vary inversely with each other are a. Speed of a vehicle and the time taken to cover a certain distance. b. The number of workers and the time taken to complete a job. c. The quantity of an item you can purchase with fixed amount of money and the price of the item.